Welcome to another Wound of Bar Live. We have a 45 minute class ahead of us today. It's gonna to fly by, it always does. Today you're gonna to need your yoga block and one light dumbbell, okay? I have a three pounder with me today, anywhere from two, possibly five pounds. Um, it may become aggressive at times, but I'll give you modifications if it does become aggressive. The dumbbell is only going to add difficulty today. So it's gonna add resistance to your movement. So if you wanna go body weight only and leave that dumbbell out, you absolutely can. This is Orbit, <laughs> he might pop in from time to time. Anyway, and you all, he likes my yoga block. You're also gonna need a yoga block. Okay, this yoga block is gonna provide some activation through the body at times, but also some stability challenge through elevated work, okay, and through balance work. Okay, so have that yoga block handy again. This entire workout can be done body weight only. So if you don't have the yoga block or you don't want the yoga block today, you can do it just your body weight. All right, let's do it together. All right, you guys, we're gonna start with just the yoga block. So have that weight off to the side and out of your way. You want that yoga block in your hands to start. So I have it the wide way. My hands are gonna imprint nice and flat on either side of that yoga block. Now, my feet, I'm going nice and wide today, so I want you wider than your hips, even slightly wider than your shoulders. You're in parallel. So usually when we go wide, right, I have your toes turned out like this, external rotation. I want you in parallel to start, so toes shining straight forward. That yoga block is down in front at the top of the thighs. On your inhale, we're gonna take that yoga block up and overhead. I just want you to feel the mobility through the upper body. Exhale, bring it back down. Now, as you start to work here, I want you to imprint on the block. So I want you to give that block a little bit of feedback. Okay, if you don't have a yoga block right here, you can just use your arms, okay? Or you can have that weight instead. So pressing into that block, I feel the shoulder blades move down the back of my ribs as my arms go up. My knees are soft. We're gonna start to stretch the back line of the body. We got two more right here. Just keep giving that block a little bit of feedback. Inhale, block overhead. Good, exhale, take it down. Good, one more. Good, okay. Now, on your next one, we're gonna reach the yoga block up and overhead, hold it up there. Now from here, right where your leg meets your hip, that little crease right here, I want you to hinge. Keep your back flat. Okay, so your, your shoulder blades are rolled down your back body. I'm reaching my sitting bones back behind me, almost like I'm shutting a car door with my butt. Okay, keep your knees soft, back is nice and flat, and I want you to feel that stretch that's happening down from the glute all the way down through the hamstring and down into that Achilles right there, that long line. On your exhale, you're gonna drop that yoga block towards your knees. Inhale, pick it back up and overhead, and stand all the way back up. Okay, so we're focusing on that hinge. Exhale, hinging forward, keeping your knees soft, reaching those sitting bones back behind you. Your back is like a table right here. On your exhale, you're going to drop that yoga block towards your knees. Inhale, take it back up and overhead. Pause for just a moment, and inhale, stand all the way back up. We're gonna do one more like that. Exhale, hinge it forward, pressing outbound into the lateral line of my leg. So I've got internal resistance happening. Drop that yoga block towards the knees. Feel the shoulder blades rotate, or rotate down the body. Inhale back up and overhead and stand all the way back up. And now right here, keeping that yoga block up and overhead, you're gonna rotate your legs into external rotation. So now your toes will be shining outbound. We're gonna exhale as we bend both knees, bring that block down in front of the chest. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Exhale, bend. Good, so we had that hinge forward. So we got that little tilting of the chest out of the way. Right here, I want you to keep your chest upright. So you wanna think sternum over pubic bone the entire time. Your depth comes from the opening of your inner thighs. Inhale, press it up. Your feet are flat on your mat. Exhale, bend. Inhale, press. We've got two more. Exhale, we're gonna start to hold this plie. Good, so if you haven't worked out with me before, 
Okay, Penelope, I'm not sure if we've worked out together on the app or anything like that. I layer a lot, I layer a lot. I like layers. So we start slow and then it slowly amps up. I want you to know if a layer doesn't work for you, stay low on this one. If a layer doesn't work for you, you don't have to take it. Okay, right from here. We're going to take that block up and overhead one more time. We're gonna side bend, stay low in your plie. On your inhale, you're gonna lift up and over to the right. Think about those ribs lifting up and out of the pelvis. Exhale, all the way back to center. We're gonna go the other way. Inhale, right rib basket lifts up and out of that rib, that pelvis. And then come all the way back to center. So your plie doesn't change. I want you to find length on either side of that waistline as you reach up and over. Good, inhale up and over to the left. This is your last one. Come back through center. Let's draw that yoga block down in front of the chest. You're giving it some feedback. On your inhale, you're gonna peel your left heel up and rotate towards that heel. Exhale back through center, set that heel down. Peel the right heel, rotate towards the right heel. Exhale, set it down. So nice, smooth lift and lower of the heel. You're going for full range of motion there. So I want you to open up the front of the ankle as much as you feel you can, holding good form, right? So lift that heel nice and high. You're thinking about your opposite ribs rotating towards that inner thigh you're twisting towards. Exhale back through center. Good, inhale to the right. We got one more. Exhale back through center. Pick up that left heel, rotate towards the left and hold it there. We're gonna pulse this. So you're already twisted. You're pulsing one inch up and down in your plie. I want you to think about those inner thighs like a little pair of tweezers that funnel up along the spine. So we're narrowing through the inner thigh and the pelvic floor. Give that yoga block a little bit of squeeze. Good, last four. Good, you've got three. These are slow controlled pulses. Last two. Good, on your next one, you're gonna set that left heel down, rotate through center. Now stay at center. You're gonna pick that left heel back up. Okay, hold. You're gonna pick that right heel up, hold. Okay, right here, we're gonna do that little pulse again. Squeeze on the block just a little bit. Give it some feedback from your back body, right? I don't want you to hike your shoulders. That squeeze on the block should help you maintain connection to the midline. Draw that belly button up and in between the ribs. Hold it right here, you're here for six, Woo. five, good, remember those tweezers, inner thighs, think about that right here, three, good, last two, hold it low, set that left heel down, set that right heel down, okay, here we go, we're gonna go the other side, peel that right heel back up, inhale, rotate to the right, hold, pulse for me right there, so you are rotated towards the right inner thigh now, hold it there, if you feel that shake start to set in, that's a good thing. That's all that connective tissue firing. You want it firing and working right from the start of class. You're here for six. Good, five, last four. Press on that block, last three, and two. Last one, set that heel down. Come all the way back through center and stand all the way up, guys. Nice job, okay, shake it out. We're gonna unlevel your ground now. So, if you have a yoga block, you're gonna place it down on the floor. This is for your left foot. You wanna grab your weight. Okay, so if your weight's nearby, go ahead and grab that weight if you want it. Okay, again, if you don't have the yoga block, both feet are just flat on the floor. Okay, but if you have that block, I want you to put your left foot on it. Now, chances are your whole foot doesn't fit. If that's the case, make sure that your heel is connected and your toes are off. Okay, you want that heel connected for sure. All right, so my feet are underneath my hips. I'm gonna ground that right foot. Left foot is grounded into the yoga block. My left knee is already bent. Weight between the palms. You're gonna have that weight down in front of the body. Okay, just like we started with that yoga block. On your exhale, we're gonna squat. We're gonna reach those sitting bones back. Arms are gonna come up and overhead. Your biceps should stop in front of your ears. Inhale as you rise back up. Now, this is gonna mess with the brain a little bit, right? Because that left knee is never gonna become straight, but your right leg will. All right, so I want you to just focus on the reach of your sitting bones here, 
rather than what the legs are doing. So on your exhale, you're reaching your sitting bones back. You get that tilt of the torso because we keep our ribs stacked over our pelvis. And then we inhale as we drive back up. Good, exhale, reach those sitting bones back. Inhale, rise back up. Good, and you're still getting that mobility through the back body, right? We feel those shoulder blades drip down the ribs as we lift the arms up and overhead, four more. Good, inhale, rise up. Exhale, reach it back for three. We're gonna hold, and you know that's coming up, right? Good, last two. Good, and reach it up on that inhale. On your next one, you're gonna hold it nice and low, okay? Booty is still above knee height. Okay, we've got that core engaged, ribs stacked over pelvis, biceps are just in front of my ears to keep my ribs closed. From here, I'm gonna pulse this squat, one inch up and down, tiny little lift and lower, and I want you to focus on your sitting bones. Let me give you a side profile. Okay, so we can talk about that a little bit more as you pulse right here. Your sitting bones, right center of the glute, they narrow as you lift, they broaden as you lower. So I want you to focus on that feeling in the body, right from there, for four. Good, last three. You've got two. On your next one, you're gonna hold it low. We're gonna peel the right foot. So that right heel is gonna lift, the one off the yoga block, and lower. Lift and lower. Now, if you have a five pound weight over your head right now, it is probably getting a little aggressive. You can bring that weight down to your chest, okay? Either way, even if it's aggressive with that two pound weight, you can bring it down in front of the chest. Good, peel that heel up and then imprint it into your mat. You're here for four, full range of motion. So you wanna open the front side of that ankle as much as possible. Last two, Woo. it's getting warm in here. Good, on the next one, you're gonna hold that right heel lifted and give me that little pulse back. One inch up and down from your sitting bones, narrowing and broadening. Good, we've got that belly button pulled up and in. Good, feel that shake start to set in when you think about the movement coming from those sitting bones. Six, good, five, four, you've got three. We're gonna set that heel down. We're gonna change what the upper body is doing. Last two, right here, hold it low. Set that right heel down. You're gonna take your arms and you are gonna karate chop them to the left side of that thigh. And then come all the way back up through center. So I'm gonna give you a front view after this next one. Inhale, karate chop outside that left thigh and then bring it all the way back up and overhead. So the way this looks, you're twisting your right ribs towards that left inner thigh. And then we're coming back up and overhead. You're low in your squat, you're not coming out of your squat. It's a twist and back up. Whew. We got four. Good, and inhale back up. Last three, twist. Good, and take it back up. Last two. We're almost out of this squat, guys. Hang on, feel that left quad light up quite a bit on top of that block. Good, last one. Bring it all the way back up through center and stand all the way back up. Okay, that block is staying under your left foot. Okay, I am gonna turn to give you a side profile. So left foot is on the block. We are gonna be taking the front leg, or sorry, the right leg into a forward lunge. So I want you to stand on your block. Your right toes are light on the floor. Now, if you feel comfortable already to take that right foot and bring the toes off the floor, flex that foot. I want you to do that, because this leg is gonna take one step forward and stay there. The block is at your chest between both palms. Okay, so right from here. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so we have a bigger place to step. Okay, you're gonna take that one step forward. So forward lunge with that right leg and stay there, okay? Now what you wanna look for before we move on, your right knee, it's behind your toes. The ball of your foot is on the block. Your heel is lifted. Make sure your foot is on the block. Nice and steady, the ball of the foot. Okay, right from here, we're gonna pulse this. 
We're gonna take one inch up and down. So we're pulsing right from the beginning because I want you to find that alignment. Okay, the weight is at the chest, right between both palms, just adding a little extra resistance. We are pulsing from that right sitting bone and those inner thighs, they narrow up into the midline again. Good, you've got your left ball of the foot on the block, it's not too heavy, right? Your right foot is heavier than your left foot. Good, you're here for four, last three. Now we're gonna stand from here, last two. On your inhale, you're gonna rise all the way up to two straight legs, weight comes up and overhead. Exhale, bend back through center. Inhale, press. Exhale, bend. Good, okay. So we've got this staggered lunge. Now, from time to time, I throw in a little extra cardio. Now your heart rate should be up there right now because we're doing full body movement, everything is working. Okay, but we're gonna add a little extra power today. Now, if this next move does not work for you, you come right back here to what we're doing right now, okay? You're here for four. Good, just bending and extending last three. Woo! All right, you guys, on the next one, let's do one more, we're pressing it up. Now come down low, stay in that lunge. Your front leg is gonna do a pop, okay? So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna pop off the floor and land. Pop off the floor and land, good. Okay, so what I want you to think about is loading the block. Right, we're gonna press down into the block woo, with the ball of the foot. Now, balance, right? Balance is tricky here. I want you to think about a spot for your eyes. Okay, remember, if this is not working, you are right here, you're pressing up and down. Okay, hang on. You've got four, press down into the block, not back into the block. Three, two, Last one, hold it low. Give me that pulse one more time. Your knee should still be behind your toes. That kneecap tracking with big toe, second toe. Good, that right heel is heavier than those right toes, but the toes are down. You're here for six, this is it. We're coming out of it in five. Last four, you've got three. Last two, and stand all the way up. Woo, okay. All right, your left foot is staying on the block. Okay, we're doing all one side first. All right, you know what that means. It gets a little spicy, I know. So left foot is still on the block. This time that right leg is going behind us, okay? So your front foot will be your left foot. Weight is in your right hand for this one. So right hand, right leg, light, or lifted. Okay, flex that foot. That right leg is taking a step back. So you're gonna find that reverse lunge and hold it. Okay, good, you guys. That left foot is now in front of you on the block. Beautiful. Okay, we are gonna just stay right here for a second and pulse one more time. I know these pulses, it's a lot of pulses. But I want you to find alignment. This is giving you a chance to line everything up so that when we take that next big move, you're ready to go. Collarbone is broad, shoulders are down the back, Sternum is over the pubic bone. You're here for four. Left hand is on your hip. Okay, you look like this. Good, last three, two. Now, we're taking that back leg and we're gonna stand up on the block. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna lift all the way up, weight up and overhead, right knee in front of the hip. This is your balance, okay? From here, you're gonna step all the way back to that lunge, weight down. Okay, now, Keep moving right here. If this is too much today, one, you can take away the block. Okay, you can do this without the block. Or you can keep those toes light. So when you come up, instead of lifting the knee in front of the hip, you just tap them alongside the block and then step back to that lunge. Good, it's a lift, lift and a pause. You're in a full liberty. Knee is tracking in front of the hip. Bicep is in front of the ear, nice and close. We step back, long arm comes down. Inhale, long arm goes up. Good, long arm goes down. Long arm goes up. My palm is facing my midline, right? It's facing towards me, towards the middle of my body. 
Bell of the weight up and down. Good, step back and lift. So it's a full step up. You've got four more, four more. Hold on to this, you know we're gonna hold. It's coming, last three. Good, the hold, so I want you to look forward to that because that's where the change really starts to happen. And lift, we really focus on that form. We really focus on that alignment. On your next one, you're gonna hold it up there. Hold. Okay, now, right from here, our standing leg on the block is gonna do a plie. So it's a bend and extend. Right knee is in front of your hip. Okay, so if your knee is up, right, your toes are not right here. If your knee's up here, I want you to make sure it's in front of the hip. Okay, don't let that leg get droopy. That right arm is close to the head. All right, hold that. That's gonna help you maintain balance right through center. Bending and extending your left leg. Think of the strength through that inner thigh on the left side. It pulls up along the spine to lift you. Good, you're here for six. Whew, last five. Hang on guys, we got one more layer. Four, good, last three. You've got two, stay tall, stay strong. All right, after your next plie, you're gonna stay tall. All right, now your right elbow is gonna pull down by your waist. So you have a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Weight over that thigh, oops, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now your right leg is bent and your right elbow is bent. We're gonna open those two limbs like a door. So that arm and that leg are gonna externally rotate and then they're gonna come back through center. And I'm gonna give you a front view. You're gonna inhale them open Exhale them closed. Okay, I'm gonna turn and face you. Keep going. I want you to make sure that you hold that knee in front of the hip. Okay, we're opening like a saloon door and then we're closing. Good, and I know balance gets tricky at this point because that left leg's getting tired. So hang on with me, you've got four more openings. Four, good, and close. Last three, rotating that arm from the top of the shoulder. Right, that humerus bone swivels in that arm socket. Good, last two. Last one, you're gonna hold open four times only. You're gonna extend your arm and leg. So you're gonna extend. Open up the full joint, knee and elbow. Bend. Good, open up the full joint. Three. Good, and bend. I know that left leg, hang on. Last two, we're almost there. This is your last one, we're coming out of it. Extend, bend it in, and come all the way down. Oh my goodness, you guys, so strong. Okay, you're gonna kneel on that left knee. Left knee on the block. Okay, again, if you don't have the block, you don't need the block. Don't worry, kneel on your mat, okay? So left knee under the hip on the block. Your right leg is gonna come out to the right. I'm externally rotated, my toes are turned out, Top of the foot shining up so my foot can be flat on the floor, okay? Make sure if your foot is not flat, that's okay. Flexibility might be challenged at the front of the ankle, that's fine. Just make sure your heel is connected, but if you can get those toes down, go for it, okay? I want you to lift tall, sternum over pubic bone. Weight is gonna be at the chest. Okay, we're gonna inhale that weight up and overhead. Exhale, pull it back. So right now, I want you to focus on length. Okay, I want you to find length out of your waistline. The arms are not going to stay overhead for the first part of this move because that's a little aggressive. But right now, I want you to think about lengthening out of your waistline as you bring your arms overhead. You've got two more because that length is gonna become important in the next part of this sequence. Good, last one. Bring the weight back to your chest. Now hold it here. We're gonna lengthen out our right side. So you're gonna take an inhale to the left Keep the shoulders square. I don't want you to twist and find a long line down that right side. Now, you may not have a mirror in front of you. Right, I have the computer screen. I can look at that. But I want you to think about, you can feel when that side is long, right? You can feel when the shoulders are square. And come back up strong. Good. You're going to lean on that inhale. Inhale is going to give you that internal length. And then we're going to exhale as we pull it back. Good. Three more. Inhale. Lengthen it out. Exhale, pull it back strong. Last two, lengthen out that right waistline. Good, and come back. Last one, 
You're gonna hold it right there. Now, right from here, arms are gonna go up, arms are gonna go down. Okay, that's it, that's all I want you to think about. We did it in the beginning, right? We just had a little bit more stability. Now we're focused on those transverse abdominals and that support from the left side. All right, two more. I'm not gonna have you twist with arms overhead, but we are gonna twist next. You're gonna bring that weight down to your chest. Hold. Now keeping this side long, we're gonna rotate our shoulders to the left. So we're gonna look towards the floor. And then come all the way back through center on your exhale. Inhale, twist. So we wanna maintain length with that inhale. Exhale, back through center. Good. So your shoulders are not fully gonna become square to the mat. Okay, I don't want you to fight for that because that'll probably put too much torque on your low back. I want you to just find that rotation. Think about ribs towards that left inner thigh and come back strong. Two more. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back through center. One more. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back through center. And come all the way back up. Now we're not done here. We're gonna press one time those arms up and overhead. We're gonna lengthen this left side now. So we're gonna side bend up and over towards that long leg. Again, thinking about the length that we found in our plie at the beginning of class. Exhale, pull it back strong. Good, inhale, lifting my left ribs out of my left side of the pelvis, up and over. Good, and come back. Still maintaining length on my right side because I'm finding the lift first. And then pull it back, three more. Inhale, up and over, finding that length, finding that reach, and coming back on the exhale. Right here, grow tall. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, pull it back strong. This is your last one. Inhale, up and over. And pull it back nice and strong. And bring that weight all the way down. Right, we're coming to the floor. So come all the way down off of your block. Okay, you're gonna have your block in your hand to start, no dumbbell. So have the dumbbell off to the side. Okay, now if you don't have a block, I want you to just use your arm. Okay, no weight. We're gonna find some opposition through that waistline here. So your bottom leg is your left leg. That is hooked in front of your hip, 90 degree angle with that knee, okay? That's gonna be your support leg. Your right leg is gonna extend straight off the hip, okay? So I look like a, a figure four right here. All right, now from here, my left forearm is gonna be on the mat. We are not gonna put weight on it yet, okay? So left forearm on the mat, nice and light, elbow under shoulder. Take your block in your right hand. You're gonna reach that right arm up and overhead. Now from here, you're gonna lift the right leg. So I want you to take that right toe off the floor so it is level with your hip. You're gonna reach your arm back to the left, back behind you. You're gonna look behind you as your leg reaches back behind you as well. Okay, so you're opening up the front body right here on that right side. You're opening it up and you're making it nice and long. I'm looking behind me, my block is over my ear, or my bicep is over my ear, my leg is long. Now as I come back, I'm gonna reach my right leg in front of my hip, block is going to tap the floor behind me. I'm looking at my block, I'm following my right hand. Okay, right leg is in front of the hip. So bringing it all the way forward. Block comes forward, Overhead towards the back on that left side. Right leg reaches in the back as well. I'm following my block with my eyes. Right leg comes forward. And that block taps behind the booty. Good, okay, reach, lengthen out, lengthen out. When you reach to the left with that block, so overhead, right, I don't want you to try to tap the ground. I want you to keep yourself lifted and tall out of that left shoulder. And then you're gonna come all the way back forward, tap the block one more. Finding length, reaching, finding that opposition in the body as well. Exhale, come back through center, taking that leg in front of the hip, twisting behind you, and then come all the way back through center. Okay, so just a little pause there to find that length on that side, because now we're gonna side plank. So, your yoga block is gonna come down by your feet. It is gonna be for your right foot. Now. That yoga block is gonna apply more pressure to the shoulder and the elbow because you're gonna be elevated. So, if side planking is already difficult for you, get the yoga block out of there. 
okay? Your weight as well. You do not need to have the weight, okay? Instep of the right foot is on the yoga block. That bottom leg, I'm gonna give you some options for it. Okay, we're gonna be lifting into a side plank, so just really quick before you get there. Your knee can stay down, okay? Knees aligned with one another underneath the hip, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that leg behind my yoga block. So my right foot is on the yoga block, my left foot is behind. Find a position that works for you. So either you're right here with your knee and shin down, or your left foot is behind the yoga block. Your right arm has the weight. We're gonna pick that up and over the shoulder. You're in your full side plank. We're gonna start with a dip through the waistline. So you're gonna dip and lift, lengthen out the waist. Little dip, little lift. Okay, now if your knee is down, same thing, dip and lift. Dip and lift, good, you've got four more. Dip and lift, we're gonna add a kick of our bottom leg. Three. Good. Now, if your knee is down, you're not going to take this kick. You're going to stay at that dip. All right, right here. You're going to dip and lift. Now, your bottom leg, your left leg, is going to kick through as the right leg supports you. And kick it back, place it down the floor. Dip, lift, and kick. You've got two more of those. That's it. Dip, lift, and kick. Inner thighs, right? Inner thighs. Dip. Lift and kick and hold for four, for three, for two, and lower it down. Woo, I was losing it on that last one. Okay, you guys, we're gonna bridge. Rotate towards your yoga block, okay? That yoga block is for your left foot now. Okay, you've got your weight with you, so lie all the way down on your back. Again, left foot, that's there. That's where the yoga block wants to be still, under our left foot. You're gonna take your left hand and have that weight. Now, elbows are gonna start bent by your side, both elbows, right arm too, even without the weight. My left foot's on the block, my right foot's on the floor. We're gonna bridge and extend our arms. So on your inhale, you're gonna lift those hips, extend those arms over the chest. One has a weight, one doesn't. Okay, and then we come back down. So, we're gonna, we're, really focusing on that left side, right? I want you to think about pressing down into the block as you send those hips up. Now remember in a bridge, we are lifting to a glute engaged position. So the minute that you feel those glutes turn on, okay, that's high enough. I don't want you to shove the hips up for the ceiling and shorten the low back because that's not going to do anybody any good. Over time, that's just going to cause more low back stress. So I want you to think about lengthening out the front of the body, pressing into the block, feel those glutes turn on. You're going to feel your left leg a lot more than your right on top of that yoga block. Okay, even without the block, you've still got your left foot on the floor and your weight in the left hand. Last two. All right, again, just getting set up. On your next one, you're gonna hold it up there. Now, right from here, the right leg is gonna march. That's the one without the block. Now, if you need more support from your upper body, you're gonna either bring the arms all the way down flat on the floor or bend the elbows. But if you can keep them lifted today, try that, okay? Your right leg, we're gonna draw the right knee up and over the hip and send it back down. Good, draw it up and over the hip. So with both arms lifted, you have got quite a stability challenge on that yoga block. It's gonna force the core to stabilize the pelvis. Okay, so I want you to make sure that your right hip bone isn't taking a dive for the floor when you lift that leg. You want your hips to stay quiet as you pick up that knee. That knee comes right over the hip and back down. Four more, lift, you're gonna feel that left hamstring, the one on the block, right? Last three, good, we're gonna be holding it up there in two. Lift, and lower, now on your next one, you're gonna hold that left knee over the hip. Okay, now from here, your right arm is not gonna do anything. If it's on the floor, that's fine, okay? Otherwise, it's matching your left at the moment. You're gonna extend your right leg long. So you have a long right leg and a long, long arms. 
You're gonna take your left arm and your right leg and you're gonna lower them towards the floor. And on your exhale, you're gonna pull them back strong. So this is your weight and your long leg that are moving. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lower on your inhale. Exhale, pull it back. Now you're lifted in your bridge, right? Your hips are off the floor. So it's a really tough challenge for that core to stabilize the pelvis. Okay, if it feels shaky, that's good. That's what we want. Good, keep those hips level. Good, you've got three more for me. Three. Exhale, pull back strong. Last two, inhale. Exhale, pull back strong. Last one. You're gonna pull it back strong and hold it there and you're gonna give me a pulse from your left sitting bone, right where the glute and the hamstring meet. Give me a little pulse. Arms are over the chest, right leg is lifted towards the ceiling. You're here for six, five, four, three, two, and lower it all the way down. Woo! Okay, no weight. Get the weight out of the way. We're gonna do a little prone work before we take that other side. So yoga block's gonna stay down at the feet. Make it wide. Make it the wide way, okay? You're gonna come turn over on your side. Now I'm not gonna lie, prone work is not my favorite, but it is so important. It is so important for the back line of the body, the strength through the neck, okay? So if you tend to have pain when we do abdominal work through the neck and when we ask you to hold the neck without any support from the hands, this is gonna help that, okay? So, you're gonna take your arms and you're gonna interlace the fingers behind the base of the skull. So you've got your elbows wide, okay? Your toes are gonna be turned down, uh, your tops of your feet are touching the top of the yoga block. Okay, so I've got my legs glued together, they're parallel, tops of my feet on the yoga block. Now from here, my eyes are directly on the floor, my nose is just hovering over the mat. On your inhale, we're gonna lift the chest and the legs off the block. So on your inhale, you're gonna lift, hold. Now you're gonna take your legs and you're gonna straddle them. Wider than the yoga block, you're gonna clear the yoga block to tap the floor with your feet. Pick your feet back up, come back over the block and lower your back extension. Inhale, lift into your back extension. Straddle the yoga block, tap the floor. Come back over the block, zip up your inner thighs, and lower out of your back extension. You've got four more. Inhale, lift, hold. Straddle the yoga block. Come back over the yoga block, and lower. You've got three more. If your hands behind your head are too aggressive, okay, you can bring them down to your mat and do this with them alongside the the shoulders or the head. Inhale, lift, straddle, come back over the block, and down you've got one more. Inhale, lift, straddle and tap. Come back over the block, and now hold your hover. Don't come out of your back extension. I want you to extend those arms into a wide V. Hold, palms are facing in. We've got ninja palms, thumbs facing up. Hold it right here for four. For three, for two, and lower it all the way down. Okay, flip over, right? Flipping, flipping. <laughs> We're doing that bridge on the other side. So the yoga block is going to be for your right foot this time. The weight is in your right hand, okay? So I won't explain as much this, this time through. All right, so hopefully we'll make it through a little bit faster. All right, your right foot is on the yoga block. Left foot is flat on the floor. Arms are bent, 90 degree bend at the elbow. Okay, remember arms can be flat if you need more support. From here, we're gonna lift into our bridge. Arms are gonna extend up and over the chest. Exhale as you lower. Whew. Okay, inhale, lift. It's surprising how much your heart rate gets up in that prone position, right? Heart rate tends to drive there. So right here, I just want you to focus on regaining that breath. Okay, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Good, slow that breath, slow that breath, breathe. <laughs> slow that breath down. Good, two more. Inhale, lift, pressing down into your block, 
glute engaged position is all we're going for. Inhale, length on that front body. Exhale, so on your next bridge, you're gonna hold it up there. Hold, okay. Now, you've got stability from your right leg. Your core is gonna stabilize your pelvis as you march with your left leg. Knee comes over the hip and we lower. Good, knee comes over the hip and we lower right here. All I want you to focus on is leveling the pelvis, not letting that left hip twist down towards the mat as you pick up that leg. Okay, keep it lifted, keep it strong. Press into your block for that. Okay, and keep that left foot nice and light. Every time your left foot comes to the mat, you're not putting any weight on it, okay? Because your hips are staying lifted, your weight is in the block. You're here for four, and lower. Good, last three, you got this. Keep those shoulder blades heavy in the mat. Last two, collarbones nice and wide. I'm not taking any stress into the head, neck, and shoulders. On the next one, you're gonna hold it lifted. We're gonna extend that left leg long. All right, right from here. My right arm with the weight and my left leg are gonna lower. Exhale, pull back strong. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, pull back. Now when I lower, my right arm, it never goes past my ear, so I'm not tapping the floor with either limb. Okay, because that's gonna put too much torque on my low back and it's gonna take my ribs out of the party, right? I'm gonna open up my rib basket with that bicep going behind the ear. I wanna keep it closed because my core is strong right now. It needs to hold the pelvis quiet. Okay, give me three more right here. Lengthen, good, and pull it back. Yes, last two. I see legs moving. Good, you guys, good. Hold it strong on your next one. You're gonna pull back strong. Hold it there. Now give me that pulse from your right sits bone, right side, right where the glute and the hamstring meet. I want you to find that little glute line and you're gonna pulse up from there for six, for five, for four, three. Last two. And bring it all the way down. Oh my goodness, okay. Are we ready to side plank? I don't know if we're ever ready to side plank, right? Remember, that's not quite the, <laughs> I'm prepared, we're prepared for it. Okay, so you're gonna be right side down now. Okay, your right elbow underneath your right shoulder now. Again, that yoga block is just gonna add difficulty. So get it out of the way if we don't need that extra elevation today, okay? And every day is different. Today may not be the day, okay? Left hand has the weight. now. If you're keeping your knee down, I want you to make sure your knees are aligned. That way the hips are stacked properly. Okay, elbow on your shoulder. We're gonna lift that left arm up and over the shoulder with the weight, palm facing forward. Okay, here we go. We're gonna lift those hips. Okay, now you can stay right here or that left leg can extend behind the block. Okay, so my feet are down, but my legs are off. We're gonna dip and lift. Dip and lift. Okay, so we're pulling up with that top waistline. Four, three, we're gonna add that kick in two. Now again, if your knee is down, you are not kicking. Good, on your next one, you're gonna dip. You're gonna lift, you're gonna hold it. The instep of your left foot is gonna take the weight as you kick forward. Bring it all the way back behind the yoga block and dip and lift and kick. Woo! Okay, three more, dip and lift and kick. You've got this, last two. Dip and lift and kick, strong kick. Last one, dip, you know we hold the kick. Hold the kick here, hold it. Four, three, two, and lower down. Oh, I couldn't even pull the leg back. <laughs> That's why we just lowered right down. Okay, no weight for this next move. We got that oppositional reach. So your right forearm is back on the floor, okay? No weight though this time, right? We're gonna keep it nice and light. If you have the block, hold the block. If you don't, nothing, okay? Your right knee is gonna come in front of your hip like a box, okay? Right off the hip, and that knee's got a 90 degree angle. My left leg is gonna reach straight off the hip. Left arm is gonna hold that yoga block up and overhead. 
From here, I'm gonna lift my left toes off the floor so my leg is aligned with the hip. I'm gonna reach back first. Okay, so my yoga block's gonna come overhead. I'm gonna hit my ballet bar. <laughs> I'm not gonna tap the floor. Okay, I'm reaching that arm up and overhead. My left leg is reaching behind the midline. So I've opened up the whole left side of my body, the front left side. And then we're gonna come forward. Come forward, leg in front of the hip. You're gonna twist behind the body with the yoga block and tap the floor. Okay, look at your yoga block, look at your hand. Reaching up and overhead with the block, left leg reaches behind you, left arm reaches overhead. You find a stretch out of your left waistline. And then we come all the way forward, left leg in front of the hip. Tap that yoga block behind you. Good, let's go one more. Inhale, up and overhead. Reach, 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 reach. Find that long leg. Good, come all the way back. Drawing that leg in front of the hip. Tap that yoga block behind you. And come all the way back through center, guys. Whew, okay, that knee is coming to the block, so come on up. Okay, that, this time it's that right knee. So everything now, right knee, right foot. Okay, we got this, we're close, we are close. Okay, so that right knee is on the block. Okay, you're gonna lengthen out that left leg. Toes are turned out at that 45, my foot is flat. If, I, if you can get the foot flat, I prefer it to be flat. Right knee under the hip, so you are tall through the midline, sternum over pubic bone. Draw the navel up and in, weight is at the chest. From here, we're gonna inhale those arms up and overhead, find length, exhale, pull it back. So, from that oppositional move we just did to this. Okay, I want you to still think about length out of the waistline. Okay, you should be prepped and ready for that now at this point because you've done it multiple times. So that waistline should feel nice and long. Good, inhale, exhale, pull it back, two more. Inhale, we're gonna find that lean or that length on the left side. Last one. Exhale, bring the weight down. Now it stays at the chest. We're gonna inhale as we lengthen out to the right. So we're lengthening out that left waistline, nice long line from crown of head right out that big toe. And then we pull back strong. Shoulders remain square and pull back strong. So this is a movement where if you can focus on your breath, I want you to focus on your breath, right? It's not too complicated. It's not too strenuous. Okay, so I want you to really think about your breath because your breath is gonna make this move more strenuous. So you're gonna inhale, find length, find as much length, internal to external. Exhale, pull back strong. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull back, three more. Inhale, lengthen. Nothing is changing on my right side. Exhale, pull back, last two. Inhale, exhale, pull back, and on your next one, you're gonna hold your lean. So we're gonna inhale, hold. Exhale right here. Inhale those arms up and overhead. Keep that right bicep close to the ear, and then pull back strong. Good, inhale up and over. Just adding to that length, right? We're lengthening that lever. All right, so that distance from the core, the core has to stabilize that weight all the way up and overhead. Good, last three, pull it back. Good, inhale, last two, pull it back. We're gonna come into that twist. This is your last overhead. Pull it back strong, now we're gonna rotate. You're gonna rotate to the right. Exhale, come back through center. Good, inhale, rotate. Exhale, back through center. So you're finding that twist. We're keeping the length on that left side. We're focusing on that left rib basket, rotating towards that right inner thigh for three. Exhale, back through center. Good, you've got two. And back. Good, last one. Inhale. Exhale, back through center. Come all the way up. Okay, one time, you're gonna press that weight up and overhead, or two long arms, whatever you got. We're gonna side bend. We're gonna inhale up and over to the left, lengthening out that right side now, and then come back through center. Good, inhale up and over, 
exhale, pull it back. I'll give you three more. Inhale, lengthen out of that waistline. Find the lift first, right? You've practiced it now multiple times today. Inhale, up and over, long and strong. Good, and come back. Last one, inhale, up and over. Exhale, pull it back strong and bring that weight all the way down to your chest, guys. Nice job. Okay, we're standing, here it comes. We are ready for the standing work. Your right foot on that block. Okay, so I'm gonna give you that side profile again. This time the block will be closer to you, so that's kind of good. Okay, the weight is gonna start in your left hand. Okay, so we're gonna start with that step up. You're gonna come all the way up onto the block. Okay, so your weight is on the block. Your left leg, your toes are down, or if you're ready to flex that foot and get it off the floor, Okay, it's hanging in midair. Okay, your weight in your left hand is at the top of your left thigh. Palm in, right hand on the hip. We're taking one step back with our left foot. So on your exhale, step back, hold. You're in a split lunge. Okay, your right foot's on that block. Here we go, we're in a pulse right from here. Tiny little pulse, lift and lower. Right here, I want you to focus on the weight in the block not on the back leg. The right weight is in your block. You've got a tight midline because we're thinking about those inner thighs. Even though they're not touching, we're thinking about squeezing them together. Okay, last four. Good, you've got three. Last two. Now we're gonna find that step up. Okay, with or without your block. If you don't have your block, that's okay. On your next one, you're gonna inhale as you lift that left knee in front of the hip Left arm overhead, bicep in front of the ear, liberty. Right, and then we're gonna come all the way back down to that split lunge. Good, we're gonna inhale. Find a spot for your eyes to focus. We're talking about a lot of strength from that right side. Exhale, bring it back down. Now your left psoas, right, part of the core that runs along the spine into that inner thigh, that is responsible for picking up that left knee. Okay, so we want those hips to stay together. They work together. We got a lot of strength from that right inner thigh to pull us up. Good, and coming back to that lunge, you've got four more. Inhale, up and over. Focus on something for your eyes. Good, remember your toes can stay down on the floor as you lift. You can be right here. That knee does not have to pull in front of the hip. Good, last three. And pull it up. Woo, last two. So much strength, so much control right here. Inhale, up. All right, you guys, on your next one, we're staying up there. It's an inhale, hold. Bicep in front of the ear. Okay, right knee. Bend and extend. Whew. Bend and extend. So again, we're thinking about the lift from the right inner thigh. Lift it up along the spine. Good, you've got four. Whew. Good, you guys, hold on to it. Last three. We're coming into that external rotation with that left leg, I'm sorry, that left leg and that left arm. Last two. Last one, now stay up there. Bend your left elbow. So your left elbow is by your waist, it has a 90 degree bend. Your left leg and your left arm are gonna open like a saloon door and then we're gonna bring them back to the midline. Okay, so I'm gonna give you that front view again. Open on your inhale. Exhale, pull them back. Stay up there, don't come down. I'm just showing you from the front view. Okay, so you're right here, knee in front of the hip. They open, you're swiveling the humerus bone at the top of the shoulder. You're swiveling the femur at the top of the hip. Good, open and close. Good, three more. Inhale, open and close. Woo. Last two, you feel that standing leg, right? Good, bring it back. Last one, you're gonna hold it open. Hold, okay, four times only. You're gonna extend that arm, extend that leg, and pull it back strong. Yes, inhale, extend. You guys got this. Two more, that's it. Inhale, extend, lengthen. Open that elbow, open that knee. Bring it back, last one. Inhale, lengthen, pull it back. Close the door and come all the way down, guys. Okay, 
Still with that right foot. Okay, you're gonna take that forward lunge. So right foot is on the yoga block. Weight is between your palms this time. We are gonna take that one step forward, okay? So level out the pelvis, pick that left foot off the floor. That left foot is taking a step forward. Here we go. One step forward, hold. Okay, now, and I don't care if you don't take that step forward like that to get into this. Right when you're in it is where I want you to find that alignment. So left knee behind the toes, right foot is light on the block. You're pressing down into the block, not back. Right here, weight at the chest, give me that pulse. One inch up and down. Tiny little lift and lower. You wanna make sure that that kneecap is tracking with big toe, second toe. Tiny little lift and lower. Good, you're here for six. Last five. Good, you've got four. We're standing in three. Good, last two. Right here. You're gonna stand all the way up. Press the weight up and overhead. Again, find that length. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, press. Good, exhale, bend. Four more. We're gonna find that powerful pop on that front leg. Now remember, if that's not for you today, you stay right here. Last two, inhale, press. Good, exhale, bend. Last one. Now you're gonna hold your lunge. Okay, right from here. Find a spot for your eyes, okay? On your inhale, you're gonna pop off that front foot and land. Pop off the front foot and land. So it's power, right? We, I don't ask you for this a lot in here. So <laughs> it's different, right? It's, it's a different feeling. I want you to find the strength to explode off of that leg. Yes, pressing down into your block for four. Good, last three. We got that pulse one more time. Two, last one, hold, pulse for me. Tiny little lift and lower. Think about your left sitting bone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come all the way up. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, guys, I know. That squat on the other side. Right foot still on the block. I'm almost done, I promise, don't leave me yet. Right foot on that block. Left foot under the hip. Right knee is bent. It's gonna stay that way. Okay, arms are long in front of your body. Weight between the palms. You're gonna exhale as you reach your sitting bones back. Arms come up and overhead. Inhale to lift. <sighs> okay, so we're letting the heart rate come down right here. Finding that breath again. Good, exhale. Inhale to lift. Good, exhale. So use that, ex I'm sorry, that inhale here as an inflation to stand up. Good, last four. Right foot is light on the block. Toes are down, heels are down. Good, if your toes are not on the block, that's okay. I want your heel on the block. Good, last two, reach it back. Good, and up. On your next one, you're gonna hold it. Hold it there, arms are up and overhead for this one. Give me that little pulse right from the center of those glutes, those sitting bones. Narrowing and broadening. Guys, we're here for six, five, we got that heel peel in four, three, two, ah. on your next one, hold it low. Pick up that left heel, set it back down. Pick it up, set it back down. Now, because you're elevated on that yoga block, I want you to go for full articulation through that ankle and that foot. Lift that all the way so the front side of the ankle is open. You're here for four. Good, last three. Every time you set down that heel, you know what to do, right? You press it into that mat. <sighs> Good, you guys. On the next one, you're gonna hold your heel lifted and give me that pulse one more time. Right from the sitting bones. That's what we're thinking about, the sitting bones, not the legs. Okay, well, the sitting bones are, you know, they're all a part of it. Hang on, pull that belly button up and then your ribs are stacked over your pelvis for six, for five. We just have that karate chop in four, in three, last two, hold, set your left heel down. You're gonna twist to the right, twist, and come all the way back up through center. So both feet are flat, twist, 
your left ribs towards that right inner thigh. Inhale up. Ah, right, twist. Good, ribs stay aligned with the pelvis. You've got four more. Twist, exhale, pull it up. Last three, inhale, twist. Back through center, last two. We're almost there. And back up. We got one final thing with that yoga block, guys. Taking us right into our stretch. Up and overhead, and inhale to stand all the way up. Get your weight out of the way. Okay, I want you to make sure it is not anywhere near your feet. I want you to grab your yoga block. This is your last and final thing. It'll take us right into our stretch. Your toes are gonna be turned out. Remember that cardio I talked about in our power pop off that front leg? We're bringing it back a little cardio right now. So we're gonna end with the heart rate high, okay? Heart rate's already there, right? <laughs> Palms are gonna be on either side of that block. It's gonna be the long way, okay? Toes are turned out, feet are wider than shoulders. We're gonna tap the floor with a sumo squat and bring the, weight, the block up and overhead. Now, if you don't have a block, I want you to just reach with your fingertips. Okay, that's all you need. Tap and lift. Two more. I'm gonna take this into a hop today. If you are not up for that hop, you stay right here. Okay, on your next one, you're gonna tap the floor and we're gonna inhale as we pop off those toes. Tap, pop, tap, pop. Good, you guys. So that length we created in the body, we are finding it now in a quicker movement, right? So I want you to think of your inhale as you powerfully pop up. Inhale, exhale, slow. Inhale, exhale, slow. For six, whoo! For five, good, you guys. Last four, three. Last two, last one, stay low, stay low for me. Place your hands on top of the block, if you have a block, okay? And we're gonna extend our legs and bend. Okay, now if you don't have a block, you can absolutely reach your fingertips if they will reach. Okay, if this is uncomfortable, you can come up and do it here, okay? But if you can knee on that block, I want you to keep that back nice and flat. Okay, hand with your long way with the block. Four, stretching through the back of the leg, letting the heart rate come down. Three, ah, last two, inhale, press, last one. All right, guys, we're gonna stretch. If you can hang on with me for two more minutes, I'm gonna give you a nice little stretch with that block. Okay, so you're gonna come down on your mat. Your elbows are gonna come to the top of the block. Your knees are gonna be as wide as your mat. Okay, so like we would a child's pose. If you don't have a block, you may want to opt for the child's pose here. Your elbows are going to come to the top of the block. Okay, narrow. Your palms are in prayer. You're going to press back into your hips as you open up your underarms. Okay, this is going to create space between that shoulder and the waistline. So you feel that length. Okay, and then I want you to also feel that tricep in that shoulder. Nice little stretch right there. Good, last four. Three, last two, good, you guys come all the way back up. Left foot is gonna come on top of the yoga block. You can do this without the block as well. Right knee is gonna stay on the floor. You're gonna take your right hand to the floor, okay, and you're gonna send that right knee back all the way to you open up the right hip, the front of the right hip. So I'm pressing down into the mat. I'm gonna relax those toes back there, opening up the psoas, and my left knee is bent. So I'm getting that, that elevation is allowing me a little bit more room to press forward through that right hip. Okay, chest is tall, shoulders are relaxed. You're here for four. Last three, we're gonna sit into the hips in two. Good, now come all the way back with your hips. You're gonna reach your right sitting bone back for your heel. Flex your foot on the yoga block. Okay, hands can come down to the mat on either side. So I want you to feel that hamstring stretch with that elevation. It's gonna give you a little bit more challenge on that flexibility right there. So you're here for four, last three, <clears throat> last two. Coming all the way forward, let's switch legs. Foot, right foot on the block, <clears throat> left knee down on the mat. Send that left knee back, opening up the front of that left hip. Now you can see my right side where you couldn't see the other side before. 
but you've got a lot of flexion happening at that front knee. So if this is uncomfortable without the block, it's not gonna give you as much flexion. So, you know, you can kind of feel what works in your body. Open up that left psoas, pressing that, those hips forward, keeping the chest elevated. You're here for four. Relax those back toes for three. Last two. Sitting back into your hips, straight back with those sitting bones. You're gonna allow the torso to tilt forward as you flex that right foot on the block. Hands can come on either side of that right leg for support. Hold that stretch there, feel the length through the back of that right leg. You're here for four. Last three, last two, we're rolling up guys. Come all the way forward, place your right foot on the floor, left foot underneath the hip as well. Knees are gonna remain nice and soft as you let the head, neck, and shoulders just hang. And on your inhale, you're gonna round and snap that spine one vertebrae at a time. All right, you guys, you did it. Another wound alive in the bags, okay? I know that that one was challenging, right? In several, we had some cardio in there that we don't typically throw in from time to time, but I want you to think about how that felt in your body. This is a great one to revisit, especially for those movements. Um, Any time that I ask you for power, I know you're ready for it, right? We don't do it a lot, but I know you're ready for it in your body because you prepped your body properly for that power. Um, and just finding that alignment and connection to the core as you do it is, is really important. You know, that's functional living, right? We do it every day in different ways. So, bravo. I can't wait to see you next time. Until then, take care of your body. Be happy. Be safe. And I'll see you soon.